Yo, what is up everybody? Guardian Kenny here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today, we are going to take advantage of the rest of the two time summons that remains. We have, what, less than 24 hours? You have 14 hours to summon. I made some incredible summons off camera. I pulled the one and only Seeker, who is so OP. Um, not just for an epic, but for a unit in general. I looked him up, Hell, Hades, and other, uh, you know, Raid, Shadow Legends, uh, professionals rate him as S-tier ranking. So, I mean, he, he really is worthy. Take a look at his kit real quick. Um, so yeah, his A1, nothing special about his A1. Hits an enemy two times, 25% chance of a provoked buff. You get that up to a 50% chance when it's fully booked. This is where it gets interesting. Tailwind fills the turn meter of all allies by 30%, places a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns, and grants an extra turn. That's insane. And you stack this um, with, before I get into his kit more, I, I stack this guy now with who I have, Deacon Armstrong, with his incredible time compression level two, or, or time compression, I have it at level 2. Can't wait to ascend it uh, when I have him ascended. But fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%, and increases the turn meters of all enemies by 15%, grants an extra turn. So, when you combine them together, it's insane. And then, Seeker's last skill is a passive. Heals his champion by 20% HP and places a 60% increased defense buff on all allies for 2 turns when hit with a critical hit. So, if you're going against someone with the high crit hit team, um, something like um, Duke the Pierce, I have him built on my other account um, with high crit rate, 100% uh, crit rate. So if he gets hit by him, uh, this will proc, and it, uh, it buffs uh, defense like crazy for your entire team, 60% for two turns. Um, so this guy's insane, and also his aura when you get it is pretty nice for arena. Increases ally defense in arena battles by 30%. So I just got him. Didn't get him on camera. So I just did some summons. Like, I think I had two or three ancient shards tops uh, that I summoned for. And I got him. Um, and it was amazing. But anyway, let's get into these summons. So I have four ancient shards. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any more. Nope. Um, Let's do two ten pulls for mystery shards, and then we'll go right into the four ancient shards. See if I get a rare hero real quick. Um, but yeah, this has been really a great summoning event. And remember, do summon uh, as many times as you can. Ooh, a duplicate Elaine? Whoa. This account is stacked. I have two Kales, two Elaines. Like, what? Pretty cool. So, oh, I need to get. I need to uh, get rid of some people. <laughs> fodder time. Fodder time. Fodder time. Fodder time. Um. Let's see. Some people, quick. All right. Okay, one more ten times summon. Let's see. Ooh, no one. Okay. <laughs> All right, now for the ancient shards. Here we go. Uh, still haven't pulled uh, Newt or the woman, whoever, whatever her name is, but she's supposed to be good or used for a fusion or something. Uh, anyway, here we go. Rare. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I don't think Crimson Slayer's any good, is she? I think she gets high ratings. What'd she do? Attacks three enemies are random. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing a sleep debuff. Okay. But turn meter fill, interesting. Ooh. And decreasing turn meter fill. Okay, that is kind of cool. And attack all enemies. Not bad. Okay, so not bad for a rare. Okay, let's keep going. And this times two, right? Just gotta make sure. Yeah. yeah. Got the times two. Got the times two. 
Okay, here we go. Alright. Who's this? I think this might be a good one. Let's see. Let's see the reviews real quick. The reviews are great. Attacks one enemy. Okay. So debuff. So debuff. Weaken debuff. Attack debuff. And then a freeze debuff. Okay, so a big debuffer. Alright, we got two more summons. See what we get. Let's see if we get like someone that's OP as Seeker. Because this alt account, this is my alt account, and now become possibly my main account. Mystic Hand, uh, he's, he's okay, right? Good in magic key, but that's about it. Block the buffs, steal the buffs, equalizing HP. That's the interesting thing. He has a heal, then equalizes HP. I wonder how well that works. Um, Alright, let's do one more. We got one more pull. We got nothing. We got nothing good. Chaplin. Eh. Eh. Interesting. So she's like a support unit. Oh, that is kind of interesting. Maybe she's not too bad. She's like a support with some attacks. Uh, I don't know. She seems okay. Well, we didn't really get much of anything there, but we did get... The best thing we got was a Mystery Shard 10 times pull a lane. Uh, so you know what? All things considered, maybe we see if we get another rare, because that was kind of, uh... Not that great, right? Um... Hmm. Yeah, let me raise some of these two stars up. Make this guy up a bit. Yeah, cause I, th this guy's gonna be fodder, so he's food. He's food. Okay, hopefully we get like a nice- What if we got a cold heart or a pain keeper? I mean, that would make this a very, very, very interesting video. Nah, nothing. It's funny, the uncommon um, summon, it's like a white mist in the background, a white light. But it kind of looks a little blue and sometimes looks like a rare unit's gonna come out. Um, Alright, there we go, an uncommon. quick look at my team um so this is my alternate account actually turning tides i'd appreciate it guys if you'd use the referral link on this account uh real quick let me go to player info no player info i mean um so you go to referral program i'm gonna put this in my description but get referral link get referral link you guys will get some free stuff you'll get this and you'll get an epic hero as well uh so get referral link you guys can copy paste um, and share this with your friends. So I'm going to copy this in the dis and paste that in the description. But anyway, guys, use that if you haven't ins like use that to install the game. That link, like, don't start the game without using a referral link because you get a free epic hero as well as up to a hundred dollars worth of free goodies. But yeah, let's take a look real quick at my team. Um, so my main is Kale, and I actually summon him again. So I have two of him. I was I summoned in Elaine, and I just summoned another one of her. Let me lock her, favor her. I mean that's insane. I have two of the best starters, <laughs> twice over. That's crazy. But okay, so Deacon Armstrong will be my first six star most likely, and then Seeker. It'll be Seeker or Husk. Honestly, Husk is really good too. Um, so Deacon is an S tier unit. Seeker is an S tier unit. People rate Husk as a B tier, but I think he's more like A tier. He's pretty damn good. Um, his kit's a little weird because it's scaled on HP for the most part. Like, his best attack move, single damage move, is based on HP, single target attack move. His AoE attack is based on enemy max HP. 
and only seems to do a lot of damage to bosses, but has a chance to stun, which is kind of nice. And then his A1 is based on attack, but has provoke. And the thing about my team is, I don't have a provoker like Duke the Pierced on my other account, where he's like a great provoker and tank. But I have two guys who can provoke now, because Seeker can provoke with his A1. Can't provoke, up to 50% when booked. And like I just showed you, Husk has an A1 with provoke. So for my campaign team, um, right now, I am running, if I go, what am I doing, brutal mode? Yeah, I'll do a quick sweep if I can, see if I can beat something. Hopefully I'm not stuck at a boss or something. So I might be. Oh yeah, that boss might be insanely tough. Um, let's give it a try though. Uh, I'll just run it on auto. But this is the current team I'm running, and I was running- Oh, I forgot the support unit. Let me highlight that rare real quick before we do that battle, because he's awesome. I pulled him off camera too, Shadowbow Turlock. He's amazing. Uh, he's defense-based, you can get him really bulky. And he's a rare hero, so it's easy to ascend. You want to get him to rank 3, so he gets, um, what is it? This extra, uh, skill passive. Camo cover decreases the damage received from skills by all allies under Veil or Perfect Veil buffs by 5%. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's kind of nice. It's kind of big. And he places a Veil buff on all allies. He has that and a shield buff for two turns. Uh, not a heal, but it's a really nice defensive buff regardless. Uh, if you stack him with Seeker, I mean, you probably have a lot of defense, like all day defense. And he has a speed buff as well, which is nice. And an attack with a decreased attack debuff uh, chance. So he's really good. He has good stats. But anyway, let's run a quick campaign battle. And then we'll do an arena battle. Just to demonstrate these teams. Uh, here we go. Let's try real quick. It's going to be tough. Because Seeker's only 3-starred, right? Oh no, he's 4-starred. I want to be 5-starred. Um... A lot easier. So there's Husk's AoE, got a stun off. As a rain. Um, that was Deacon's AoE, which lowers any defense. Husk's A1. Kale's A1. Easy clean so far. The only thing is, they don't have any heals, so hopefully that's not a problem. They only get heals based on uh, their equipment. Or any skills I have um, on them, I you would know, give them heal on kills or something like that. Um, we'll see how they do. Curious. They're doing fine. They haven't lost a lot. Ooh, I was about to say they haven't lost a lot of hit points. The seeker did there. And he just gains some back, that's good. Hopefully Tailwind that increases our meter is big and gets us a uh, lot more attacks. So AoE is pretty deadly, he's killing a uh, Seeker pretty well. Double turn meter goes with Deacon and Seeker. Um, ooh, this isn't good. I mean, Shaman would be nice for a res, but I don't know who I would replace in this team. I just need to get them more leveled for Druid. Uh, like, or, like, Because I don't think I can clear this. Now that I can clear it. But, um, I might run this, like, four times speed or something or like that. But ooh, they give a shot down the half. So he's countering every attack, pretty much. With no one to res or heal. So. Ooh. Kale needs to get off like an acid rain and disintegrate and a poison. Ah, they can die here. Two tankiest guys are still alive. The Seeker will be extremely tanky when he's fighting. He'll, he'll be the tankiest possible. After, uh, after Husk. Oh, it's gonna be so close, but I think they're just gonna be. There's too many flame zones in the videos. So close. Uh, 
Whoa, I did a lot. Oh, come on, Husk. Tank it out. Tank it out for the W. Come on. Come on. He needs his, he needs his uh, skills to recover. Uh, he's still not, like, ready. I used it. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna lose. Just barely. See what this team is capable of. And let's do an arena battle, because they're pretty dominant even if they go against the overpowered team. Let's see. What's my power level? 35,000? Okay. So pretty high up there. But you can't underestimate a team. Uh, oh, I have zero tokens. If I don't have a refill, I might have to show off later. Or, let's see, quests. Did all the dailies. Okay, alright. So I might I might add in a quick arena showcase of this team um, once I get a token back. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, we are about to do arena featuring Seeker. Even though he's not even 5 starred, you're going to see what he does for the team in terms of support. So, let's do a battle, uh, let's pick, what's our rating, 34,000, I guess we'll pick something comparable, 24,000 a bit weak, 39, they're all, yeah, that might be comparable, 37, 31k, how about that, okay, so their lead has a speed buff with Spirit House, we have a speed buff with Deacon, um, I don't know if that's the perfect order. I think Seeker might be better off at the two spot where Husk is or the three spot where Kale is. Um, so, um, but this is what I'm rolling with for now. So let's start the battle. We're just gonna run it on auto. Oh, let me show you. I think I have my auto battle set up. Uh, let me show you what it's schemed to. So Deacon, I have him open with Sweeping Retribution. Uh, and then after that, he'll pop a time compression and work from there. Um, Kale, I have doing acid rain first. Once sweeping retributions up, which decreases defense, get off a big acid rain with Kale. Husk, I have him set to anything because he's um, he's either second slowest or slowest unit right now. The seeker being comparable, so he does either retaliate. Uh, yeah, the other will do Retaliate or Despair for the most part. He'll do the AoE with the chance of stun, Despair, or he'll do the high single target damage, Retaliate. And then Seeker, I want them starting off with Tailwind, get that attack buff off, get that extra turn, and get that uh, turn meter buff. Uh, and then from there on out, he just rolls with Devour until Tailwind has done its cooldown, and Dark Blood procs when it procs. Alrighty, so there's a little strategy there, let's do it. Hopefully, I don't take up too much of the screen. Yeah, I can jump over here. Yep, okay, he rolled with despair for the stun. Husk did. Go tail in, extra turn. Uh, acid rain, yeah, we're gonna win this. Our Kale's down, but we'll be okay. Yeah, we got this. Got the provoke. He's dead. Seeker's dead. Fine compression. Could do with the next attack. And not the one after all. There we go. Nice. Good cleaning up. Nord Silver 2 right now. This account is just a week old. It's eight or nine days in. Alright. There you go, guys. So that was the showcase. So if you liked the video, Please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps spread the algorithm and gets my videos to a bigger audience. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button below and tap the notifications bell so you see my videos as soon as they drop. Okay everyone, this is Guardian Kenny and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.